There was a noticeably increased police presence at Newark Penn Station this morning with heavily armed state, local and transit police on steady patrols. It's a positive sign that even while security was ramped up at key transit hubs, the commuting public went about its daily to and fro like it was any other Tuesday morning. This has been a normal day here at New Jersey Transit. Our system has been operating on or close to schedule for most of the day. We have seen some additional screenings that have taken place at um, hubs such as here at Newark Penn Station, but it has not stopped our customers from going about their daily lives, and we're glad for that, and we encourage our customers to continue to keep going about their daily lives. Around most of North Jersey, there were police at potential terror targets, including plain clothes officers, we're told, as officials sought to reassure anyone who might still be concerned. In Jersey City, preparations for today's opening of the farmer's market at the Path Plaza were going forward as planned. We want everybody to go to work every day, patronize the businesses that they patronize. Uh, of course we want that, but we, we were going to do it with some extra observance, extra caution. For the Mitchell family of Burlington County, no threat was going to stop them from their family cruise to Bermuda. I'm not going to let this put a damper on, on, um, on our situation, on our um, vacation. Uh, my wife and I, we worked very hard for it. Um, these kids, they were looking forward to the cruise. and. Um, I'm just gonna leave it in the Lord's hands. So were you scared thinking about your travel plans today? Yeah, I was very scared. Are you still? Yeah, kinda. Attorney General Jeff Chiesa, whose office oversees state police and homeland security, was going about his usual work today too, announcing a gun buyback in Patterson. He said the threat level has been heightened, but police agencies around the state are coordinating their efforts with federal officials and the governor's office. We're in the Northeast Corridor. We understand that we're a densely populated state. We understand that we're close to New York. New York is taking steps. New Jersey is taking steps. But most importantly, we're talking with each other on a real-time basis. And that went out throughout the night last night. It'll be going on throughout this morning and the rest of today. Officials stress that there is no credible threat to New Jersey Transit's system, but they say that these security measures will remain in place until further notice. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.